So, why then? Why then do we pray if, uh, if God, you know, his plan is going to come to pass? Why do we pray your will be done? Why should we keep on saying those prayers? Well, he says here that the, the prayer of a righteous person is effective. God uses prayers, God uses your prayers to affect things in the world, to affect his plan. God uses means to affect his plan. And so you're always being used to affect God's plan in the universe. Aren't you thankful you're a part of that? I hope you are. So I'll give you this example, right? God saves people, right? We don't save ourselves. God saves people, right? We, we trust that, that God gave his one and only son, Jesus, sinless and perfect, um, who died for us on the cross, taking our sin upon himself and giving us an exchange. If we trust in him, give our lives over to him, he gives us his righteousness so that one day when we stand before God, we stand before him covered by the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, not, not having to pay for our sins. Jesus has already paid for them. Right? This beautiful thing, this beautiful thing God's done. That's how God saves people through the gospel. But part of how people hear the, go- hear the gospel, I'm giving you the answer in, in what I'm saying. Like, he uses your mouth to communicate the gospel to people. The means by which, pe- by which God saves people is the gospel spoken from your mouth. That is the means that God uses. God is saving many by you speaking the gospel. Whether, where he ordained it and how he ordained it and all that, it is his plan to use you to speak the gospel truth. He says, go into all the world. Make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey all I've commanded you. He sends those disciples out to spread the gospel. And they go and they do that. That's his means of spreading the gospel.